Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Notion Hub and in this video, I'll be showing you the most important tips and tricks for your Vivo Y15. By the way guys, I'll be making a dedicated video for the best features where I'll be talking about all the features offered by this phone. So definitely check out that video, link will be in the description. Now with that said, first I want to show you my favorite feature on this phone, that would be the fingerprint gestures. Now this new feature has been added with the latest FunTouch OS 9.2 version, so it might not be available on the previous phones. So to enable that first you need to go to settings then select fingerprint face and password and enable these two toggles. Now the first one is to take pictures using the fingerprint scanner. So this is the default camera application and I'm going to take pictures using the fingerprint scanner. I'll just point at thing and touch the fingerprint scanner. And there you have it that's the capturing animation or shutter animation. So we can take pictures directly using the fingerprint scanner. And the next thing that we can do is pull down the notification bar using the fingerprint scanner. So I can do just this to pull down the notification bar. I can do a swipe up gesture to send it back. This is also one of my favorite features which is pretty much missing because of the in-display fingerprint scanner these days. Anyway guys, those are the fingerprint gestures. Next I'll show you how you can use split screen mode. On any phone with stock Android, you can just press and hold the recent apps button and it opens the current application in split screen mode. But that doesn't happen on this phone. Instead, we have a nice gesture. We can simply swipe down using three fingers to open split screen mode. Then the current application opens up in split screen mode. And then you can select the secondary application from here. Even now, only these applications support split screen mode, while on other phones, you can use them with almost all the applications. So that's like a downside for this phone right now. So these are two applications in split screen mode. Now we have open split screen mode and if we click at the center, we get some extra options. First one is to close the second application. Second option is to swap the first and second application. And the third option is for the list. If you want to switch to any other application, you can do it from here. So guys, that was split screen. Now I'm going to show you a new feature in Funtouch OS 9. That's the redesigned control center. So this is the new redesigned control center, which once again looks pretty similar to latest iOS. Over here we have the volume slider and above that we have a shortcut for settings and we said that we have a toggle or a slider for brightness slider and a shortcut for auto brightness. Over here we have all the notification toggles and if you want to rearrange them or modify them, you can click this button over here and then edit the list from here. Now going on next, over here we have all our recent applications. So from here we can also lock applications. You can simply swipe down, click this button to lock that application. You can also swipe down once again and unlock it. You can swipe it up to kill it. Now this is another place where we have some quick shortcuts and if you want to add more, you can do this. From here you can add quick shortcuts for your control center. Now if you don't like this big control center, you can click this button here to minimize it. And now control center is a bit shrinked down. You can still have access to all the important things and if you click over here, it goes full screen once again. So guys, that's the new control center. Next I'm going to show you how to make apps go full screen. Now, by default, most of the apps do go full screen by themselves. But for some reason, if an app is not going full screen, this is what you can do. Go to settings and then select display and brightness. Now select third party app display. Now all the apps will be listed over here and you can select the app that you want to go full screen and select full screen. Once you do that, that application will go full screen. It might be useful for some games. Next, I'll show you some navigation gestures. So for that, go to settings, then select system navigation. Now select navigation gestures. And here's a quick tutorial. Now you can swipe from the right side to go back, swipe from the center to go home, swipe from the left side for control center, and you can swipe and hold from the center for recent apps. So guys, these are the navigation gestures, and if you're bored with the navigation bar, you can give them a try. Next, I'll show you a camera feature called Shot Refocus. Now this is a camera interface, and if you want to take a portrait shot, we have a toggle for that over here. And this also enables Shot Refocus. Now on this mode while taking portrait shot, you can actually change the amount of background blur effect you want before taking a picture, like this. And even after taking a picture, you can change the background blur effect and the focus point. Now here's the portrait shot and you can select bokeh and then select the focus point. Now the bottle is in focus and Batman is out of focus. Now I can also change the amount of background blur effect to suit my preferences. Once you're done, click done. Next I'll show you some camera gestures. So first we have touch. Once you enable it, you can simply touch the preview window to take a picture. Especially useful while taking selfies. Just touch the screen to take a picture. Next we have voice control. And once you've enabled it, I can say something like cheese to take a picture. Cheese. 
shoot so that was voice control and finally we have palm control or the palm gesture so to use that i'm going to use the front camera and i can simply show my palm to take a picture you can see the countdown over there after three seconds your phone will take a picture here's a preview once again we just need to show you the palm and your phone takes a picture in three seconds so guys those are the camera gestures next i'm going to show you some important tips if you're using face unlock on this phone now in the face unlock settings make sure this particular toggle is enabled so that even in low lighting conditions face unlock works by increasing the display brightness now right out of the box this particular option is enabled so if you're using face unlock even if face unlock works it directly won't unlock the phone you have to swipe up the lock screen so if you don't want that and if you want your phone to directly unlock using facial data just disable this toggle and now whenever you try to use face unlock it immediately unlocks the phone without showing you the lock screen this is much more immersive next i'll show you how you can record calls automatically on your phone for that go to settings then scroll down a bit and select system app settings now select phone dialer or phone now select record settings and then select the second option record all calls automatically now once you do that all the calls will be recorded automatically on your phone by the way this feature is available in india but might not be available in other countries so if it's not there try to use third party applications Next, I'll show you how you can change your default applications on your phone. Let's say if you want to change your default launcher, this is what you need to do. First, go to settings, then select additional settings or more settings. Now, select permission management, then select default app settings. Now, from this page, you can change your default browser to something like Google Chrome, default music player, default gallery application, and even your default launcher. That's the home screen. So you can do all of that from here. Next, I'm going to show you some important gestures that are available on your phone. For that, go to settings. Scroll down a bit and then select Smart Motion. Now select the third option, Smart Turn On, Turn Off Screen. First, we have Rise to Wake. So once you enable this feature, you can simply raise your phone to wake it up. If you're using Face Unlock feature, you can simply raise your phone. Your phone sees your face and immediately unlocks the phone. Next, we have Double Tap to Light. So once you enable this feature, you can double tap the screen to light it up or wake it up. Once again, if you're using Face Unlock feature, you can double tap to wake it. It wakes up, sees your face and unlocks the phone. Next, we have double tap to turn off the screen. Now, once you enable this feature, you can double tap in an empty area on a home screen to turn off the screen. It even works on the lock screen. There you go. Next, we have smart click. Now, this is a pretty unique feature and it is configurable. Now, these are the settings and I usually prefer to turn on the flash with it. And you just need to turn it on and select flash. And now when your phone is locked, when the display is off, you can press and hold the volume down button to turn on the flash. There you go, that's the flash. And you can do it once again to turn it off so it's pretty handy and it's a nice shortcut so that's smart click and you can configure it to do other things as well now for some more tips if you want to take a screenshot on your phone you can press the volume down and power button both at the same time to take a screenshot now if that's a bit hard for you you also have the three finger screenshot gesture where you can swipe up using three fingers to take a screenshot so you can either press the buttons or swipe up using three fingers to take a screenshot now, if you want to take a longer screenshot, maybe a screenshot of this entire page, this is what you need to do. First, take a regular screenshot. You can either use the buttons or the gesture and now click long screenshot. Now you need to click this button next for as long as you want. And once you're done, click save and you got yourself a long screenshot. So here's the long screenshot. Now going on next, if you want to display network usage and battery percentage on the status bar, this is what you need to do. Go to settings, then select status bar and notification. Now, if you want to see the network usage on the status bar over here, enable this toggle. Now, if you want to see the battery percentage beside the battery icon, select battery percentage and select outside the battery icon. Once you do that, you can clearly see the battery percentage. So guys, for the final tip, if you're ever running low on battery, this phone has something called super saver mode. And once you enable it, it will kill all the applications running in the background and it will improve your standby time. So to enable it, just go to your control center and use the toggle super saver. Click OK and it will be enabled. Now in this mode, you just have access to these four applications. But as I've said, your standby time will increase a lot. So guys, these are the most important tips and tricks for your Vivo phone. If I missed out on anything important, do let me know by commenting below this video and definitely check out my video on best features. Link will be in the description. Now with that said, if you're planning to buy this phone, use the link in the description. It always helps the channel. And if you want us to make any specific video, tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on Twitter and we will try to make it as soon as possible. I'm Nikhil from GreedyTech signing off. Have a nice day.